Okay, I have a uh, challenge lock here from Pate314. Uh, lock does work. This is a bidding on the key. It is locked up. So let's open it up and see what kind of pins are in it. Okay, the uh, keyway is not real bad. Uh, it's fairly wide open, so you can get to it fairly easy. Okay, we're going to use the uh, top of the keyway, and we're going to use this pick. Let's start at the front and work our way to the back. Okay, there's a little bit on pin three. Pin five. Let's go back to the back front again. Okay, getting a little bit of feedback off pin one. There's pin one. Okay, there's pin three. Let's check up front again. Okay, it's pin two, I believe. Okay, there's pin five again. Okay, pin four feels like it's set. Okay, pin got a little bit more out of pin three. Got some more false set out of pin one. Pin two. Okay, getting some feedback off pin three again. Okay, there's pin three. Some more on pin four. Okay, we're still getting some on pin pin two then I believe. Okay, there's pin two. Still feedback on pin two. Think maybe we may have a pin overset. Okay, maybe not. There's uh, some off of pin four then. Some more on pin two. bit more on pin three. Okay, pin one give us a deep false set. Let's check pin two again now. Okay, let's open on pin two. Okay, let's uh, open it up and look at the pins. See if we can get the clip off. Alright, now since I don't have a follower for this, we're going to have to try to take this slow and easy on taking the pins out. And I'll probably drop some of the uh, key pins doing it. I'll try not to.
Okay, there's a pin five. If you notice that uh, there's actually, uh, I believe, two spaces in here that uh, is not being used. that spring out of the way. Okay, drop the key pin. Okay, we got a, another spring and a pin. Okay, there's a spool. Oops, there's another spool. It's popped out. This is where I had trouble the first time I picked this lock was uh, all this stuff just plug come out and popped out all over the place. Okay, there uh, has not been any uh, threading on this uh, plug. Let's see if we can get these key pins in the right spot now. See that one goes there. There's the other key pin. Okay, on the uh, plug, we have threading on one, three, and five, four. Two and five is uh, not threaded. And let's look at the uh, Bible again real close. I don't think that anything's been changed up in it. Possible it could have. Let me get the spring out of the way. Okay, I don't see any uh, threading or anything in there. I know he's got uh, some short springs inside. So he's got uh, like... Uh, just set these out here. Okay, let's look at the pins real close now. Okay, serrated key pin, serrated upper pin, that's a steel pin. Serrated key pin and a spool, and um, has a couple short springs. Uh, don't really know where they come from in the lock, but okay, a little bitty short key pin and another uh, type of uh, spool. I think this one actually uh, come out like this. I'm not sure, but I believe it did. And another serrated key pin, and this is a mushroom type pin. And on number five. Another little key pin, and there's a spool.
Okay, that's what we have in the lock from uh, Potty314. I appreciate it, Michael. Thank you for the lock. Even though I screwed up on the first video, uh, maybe this will help. So, anyway, this is the uh, second video I've made. And it turned out fairly well. Not perfect, but uh, the first one, the key pins, I mean the uh, upper pins just wound up popping out all over the place. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please do not do anything illegal, and please stay out of trouble.